So here's how to replace the diaphragm on an inline Rainbird sprinkler valve. The diaphragm is what seals off the water from inside the sprinkler valve. So if you have a sprinkler that continues to leak water after the valve has been turned off, then it's possible that the diaphragm needs to be replaced. This is a diaphragm replacement kit made by Rainbird. It comes with a spring, a filter for the solenoid, a new diaphragm, and six screws. Your first step is to turn the water off to the sprinkler system. Next, by unscrewing the solenoid a quarter turn or by unscrewing the bleed screw one turn, you can release the pressure inside the valve. Next, you're gonna to want to unscrew the solenoid. However, to do this, it may be easier to disconnect the two solenoid wires. These are low voltage wires that connect to your sprinkler timer. Before messing with the wires, unplug the irrigation controller or sprinkler timer to prevent any electrical current flowing through these wires. Next, remove the screws that attach the bonnet to the valve body. Now you can remove the spring and the old diaphragm. Now to install the new diaphragm. There's only one way that this diaphragm fits onto the valve body. Before going any further, make sure that you have aligned the new diaphragm on the valve body correctly. Next, install the spring in the center of the new diaphragm. Reinstall the bonnet. You'll need to hold the bonnet down while installing the screws. Wait to install all the screws before tightening them. And when you tighten them, I recommend using a crisscross pattern. Next, using the end of a flathead screwdriver, carefully remove the old solenoid filter and replace it with the new one. Reattach the solenoid to the valve body. You don't want to over tighten this. Hand tight is fine, and you also want to make sure not to cross thread it. If you disconnected the wires, now's the time to reconnect them. Choose either one of the solenoid wires to connect to the common wire. That's typically a white wire. The common wire is shared by all the valves in the system. The other solenoid wire connects to one of the colored wires. These are the power wires. Now it's important to make sure that you use waterproof wire connectors. And that's it. You can turn the water back on, plug in the sprinkler timer. I recommend turning the bleed screw and flushing the valve before you test your work. That way any debris that's in the valve can be flushed out.